Cruise Line drink packages. What's included? What do they cost? Are they even worth getting? Well, welcome back to our video series on Cruise Line drink packages. And today, we're going to be talking about Norwegian Cruise Lines. Chris here with High Seas Cruising and welcome to today's video. And today we are going to be talking about Norwegian Cruise Lines, Norwegian Cruise Lines drink packages, what's included in each one, and what options do you have when it comes to their drink packages. First, let's start off with what is included with a base cruise fare. So you book your cruise and there are some drinks that are included with just a regular base fare, ones that you don't have to pay for. Now that's gonna include your coffee bar, now that is regular coffee and pastries, but specialty coffee at a nominal extra charge. That's iced tea, some juices in the buffet, regular coffee, tea, and ice water. And that's just what is automatic included and you don't pay anything extra for. Now, Norwegian Cruise Lines does things a little bit differently than the other two cruise lines we've already talked about. We've already talked about Carnival. We've already talked about Royal Caribbean. Well, Norwegian does it a little bit different because when you book a Norwegian cruise, you have the option to get what's called free at sea. And that allows you to enrich your cruise vacation with up to five free offers with Norwegian's free at sea promotion. You can choose from free unlimited open bar, free specialty dining, free shore excursions, free Wi-Fi, and free third and fourth guests. So when we get into talking about the available drink packages on Norwegian Cruise Lines, you do have the option to get the unlimited open bar included in your cruise fare. All right, so we are going to start with the unlimited open bar package, ages 21 and older. Now that one is currently $109 per person per day and with the unlimited open bar package you can enjoy a wide selection of beverages both on board and at great stirrup key and here's what is included so you get select premium cocktails and spirits under $15 you get a variety of beer and wine by the glass under $15 20% off of all bottles and champagne and wine unlimited soft drinks and juice now, the unlimited bar package is included with your reservation if you book through free at sea. Must be purchased for all guests 21 and over on the same reservation. Individuals under 21 must purchase the soda package. A 20% gratuity and beverage service charge will be added at checkout. So this is the package you get with the free at sea. Everybody on the reservation has to purchase a drink package. So everyone over 21 has to purchase a drink package. And if they are under 21, they have to purchase the soda pack. Now Norwegian's next package is the premium plus beverage package. Again, for ages 21 and older. Now this one is $138 per person per day. So with the premium plus beverage package, you can elevate your cruise experience with the widest beverage selection, both on board and at Great Stirrup Key with all top shelf cocktails and spirits, all beer, champagne, and wine by the glass, select premium bottles of champagne and wine with dinner and 40% off of all other bottles. You get unlimited soft drinks and juices, unlimited still and sparkling bottled water, all Starbucks coffee and specialty drinks, and energy drinks. Now the premium plus beverage package is available as an upgrade from the unlimited open bar package included with free at sea. Must be purchased for all guests 21 and over on the same reservation and guests under 21 must purchase the soda package and a 20% gratuity and beverage service charge will be added at checkout. All right, so if you have the free at sea option and the unlimited drink package, you can upgrade that to this drink package because it does include some different things like unlimited bottled water, you get the Starbucks coffee and energy drinks as well. So it is an upgrade option, even if the unlimited package is already included. So you just pay the price difference. Now, Norwegian Cruise Lines is also different in the fact they are the only major cruise line that has a US flagged cruise ship, the Pride of America. Now the Pride of America does sailings from California to Hawaii without any foreign port stops. So there are some specialty packages that are only for the Pride of America. Now that's gonna be your Hawaii beverage package, all ages, like I said, Pride of America only. 
and that is $109 per person per day. You get a wide selection of beverages up to $15 during your entire cruise. Package price is subject to change at any time without notice. Guest check may reflect applicable VAT and or taxes for certain ports or itineraries. Guest is responsible for 20% gratuity and beverage service charge on the retail value of the package. Applicable on Pride of America sailings for guests one and two on the reservation. Eligible guests are entitled to two beverages per person per transaction. Specialty coffee outside of restaurants, mini bar purchases, or vending machines are not included. Okay, and a 20% gratuity beverage service charge will be added at checkout. And that is specific only to the Pride of America and doesn't apply to any of the other Norwegian sailings. So just something to be aware of that if you're on that particular ship, there is an extra option on it. Now, next up, we're gonna have the soda package. The soda package is $9.95 per person per day. And that allows you to enjoy endless fountain soda throughout your cruise. Includes Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, ginger ale, tonic water, Fanta, and soda water. Now a 20% gratuity and beverage service charge will be added at checkout. Not available for sailings of two days or less. And note that Coca-Cola products may not be available on all ships they will be available fleet-wide by January the 1st of 2023. So right now, while we're filming this video, Norwegian Cruise Lines is switching from Pepsi back over to Coke products. So there may be one or two ships out there that still has the Pepsi products on board. They haven't completely switched over yet, but here after the first of the year, it should be all Coke products on board the ship, which is why that little note is in there. Then you have the unlimited Starbucks package and that is $12.95 per person per day. And that includes everything from classic sodas and teas to delicious frappuccino flavors and other specialty beverages that you love. Now this is prepaid at $12.95 per person per day times the number of cruise days plus a 20% gratuity and beverage service charge. And a 20% gratuity and beverage service charge will be added at checkout. And that is the available drink packages currently on Norwegian Cruise Lines. Now, like a lot of other cruise lines, you know they allow you to bring beverages on board the ship. Well, Norwegian Cruise Lines, they do it a little bit different because they do not allow you to bring beverages on board on embarkation day to take to your cruise cabin. So effective for sailings, July 15, 2016 and beyond, guests are prohibited from bringing any beverages, including liquor, beer, and non-alcoholic drinks, such as water, soda, and juices, on board either as carry-on or checked luggage, with the exception of purified or distilled water in factory sealed containers for use in conjunction with medical devices or for the reconstitution of infant formula and fully sealed and or corked wine bottles for personal consumption on board that is subject to screening and a corkage fee for guests 21 years of age or older. Now, open beverages of any kind must be consumed or discarded at the security checkpoint on embarkation day and at any port of call. This revised policy brings the company in line with other best practices, travel security protocols, and reduces the need for individual time, consuming, screening, and package inspection of large volumes of beverages. So unlike Carnival and Royal that allow you to bring the soda energy drinks on board the cruise ship, Norwegian Cruise Line does not allow that. So that's something to keep in mind if you book a Norwegian cruise, it's your first time on a Norwegian cruise, but you've cruised with others that allow it, don't show up at the cruise port with it because Norwegian's not gonna allow you to bring it on board the ship. Now guests may bring bottles of wine and champagne on board when bottles are brought on board and served or consumed in any restaurant, public room area, or in their stateroom, a corkage fee will be charged according to the bottle sizes below. So a 750 milliliter bottle will have a $15 charge and a 1500 milliliter bottle will have a $30 charge. Wine or champagne sent directly to the ship by travel agents, 
friends, family, etc., or from another retail source are subject to the same fees. Box wines are not allowed on board and corkage fee is not applicable to guests with the beverage package. So you can bring a bottle of wine or champagne on the ship, but they're going to charge you the corkage fee regardless of where you're drinking it. So even if you plan to drink it in your stateroom, they're still going to charge you for bringing that bottle on board the ship. Again, something you need to keep in mind that Norwegian does that is different than some of the other packages we have already talked about. Now, Norwegian does have a water package that you can pre-purchase prior to embarkation day, and this is a refillable water package that they offer. So one six liter flow water package is $19.95. One 12 liter flow water package is $34.95 and one 24 liter flow water package is $49.95. So while you can purchase some water while you're on board the ship, one of these refillable water containers, you can see they are a bit on the pricey side, but it does give you another option. And finally, passengers must be 21 years of age or older to purchase or consume alcohol. With the exception of Alaska and Hawaii itineraries, Norwegian permits young adults to purchase and personally consume wine and beer only while on board with the consent of an accompanying parent. Authorization will be given only when the accompanying parent completes the Young Adult Alcoholic Beverage Waiver form. This form can be obtained and completed at the guest services desk upon embarkation of the vessel. However, passengers 18 years of age or older are permitted to consume beer and wine when sailing on round trip European voyages without having to complete the Young Adult Alcoholic Beverages Waiver form. So what that means is if you have a passenger with you, want to say one of your kids, they're 18, 19, 20 years old, too young to actually consume alcohol on board, you can go to guest services and give them permission to drink wine and beer on the ship if you wish to do so. Not something you typically see with cruise lines, but it is a policy that Norwegian has. And that is Norwegian cruise lines and the drink packages and the drink options that are available on board Norwegian cruise lines. A little bit different than Carnival Cruise Lines and Royal Caribbean that we've already talked about. And of course, with the option of using the free at sea option, where you can get one of the drink packages automatically included with your cruise fare, kind of makes Norwegian a pretty good deal when it comes to drink packages. If the base drink package doesn't work for you, you have the option to upgrade it or add one of the others onto it. And that can end up being a much more reasonable price than if you were to purchase it with just a base cruise fare. But like any drink packages, no matter what cruise line you're on, it is really up to the individual for you to decide are you going to drink enough if you're paying out of pocket for a drink package for it to be worth it? Are you going to consume enough beverages every day to make up that price? And when you look at the base prices of $109 or $139 for the packages that include alcoholic beverages, whether you're looking at the $9.95 for a soda package or the $12.95 for a coffee package, it really comes down to will you consume enough of that particular package to make it worth it on your upcoming next cruise. All right, and that is gonna be our video today on Norwegian Cruise Lines drink packages. Now we will be continuing the series, going through each of the cruise lines, showing what they offer and the prices and what all is included. But you guys let me know in the comments below what cruise line would you like to see next? We've already done Royal Caribbean, we've already done Carnival Cruise Lines. What cruise line is out there that you have an interest in that you'd like to know more about their drink packages, leave me a comment below. And the one that gets the most votes here today, that'll be the next video that we do. All right, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you haven't done so yet, do me a favor and hit subscribe. It is free to do so. Helps our channel grow. Let you know anytime we put out a new video. Hope everyone out there is having a really great day. And like always, we will see you out on the high seas.